hi all good morning um, in today's video we'll talk about installation of Dynamics 365 Business Central 2019 Wave 2 aka Business Central 15 on prem uh, what's new on Business Central 15 Business Central 15 is the first release where there is no uh, Cal available or development environment available it's all al even the whole microsoft based code is also converted to an extension uh, in the last video we saw about installation of business central 14 which was the last release where the cal was available as an option for the for the developers and customers so to start with we need to get the installation media you can either go to the microsoft website or you can always come to my blog and uh, in my blog go to the hotfix section uh, under the hotfix section I make sure that every time there's a new cumulative update that gets updated into this section once you come here you'll find uh, 15 and 16 and every version which is supported by Microsoft and have a cumulative update available uh, you can find the latest and the greatest version that I always uh, like to install the latest and greatest version for a project I needed to have business central 15 on my machine for a migration that I'm doing so you can come and you can click on download link which will take you to the Microsoft page where there will be product DVDs for all these countries and the worldwide version including other than this you can choose the version that you want and then download the uh, product DVD on your machine for saving time I have already downloaded it I've also renamed it so that it makes it easy for my local repo it's 15.6 which is the latest version as of today that's available uh, so the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, copy this into a different directory so that uh, my path is not that big and if you haven't seen the other video I'll explain why that is important um, if the path is long uh, the in during the installation what actually happens is all the files from or most of the files from the installation media get copied to the your install directory wherever you want to install it so you need to make sure that this path is smaller because windows have a uh, limit how big your file name can be so in some cases if the path is big you might get an error message that it cannot copy a file because the path is exceeded that limit so make sure that your path is smaller like I have done I have kept it in a D drive and call it as update 15.6 which makes sense or easier or shorter to, to do that before we start installation uh, let's make sure that if you have any other version of business central or dynamics nav installed like I have business central 40 installed make sure that the ports that you are using you know them so that we don't use them into our installation it's taking time to load my administration environment so we'll wait for it and here it is so I have business central 14 installed and the service is using let's see the port numbers 14 series so if you have seen the previous video you'll understand why I have given that 14 number series so I need to make sure that I don't use these uh, ports while I'm installing business central 15 so let's go ahead and run our setup as administrator once we run our setup as administrator we get a welcome message click on next uh, read through the license agreement accept it and uh, similar as in business Central 14 you get three options to get a free trial of by creating a tenant on Microsoft uh, of Microsoft SaaS which will not be business Central 15 which will be always the latest and the greatest version of the product which as of now is business Central 16 or the second option is where you can download the app uh, of business central from Microsoft Store on your phone or on your tablet client this assumes that you already have a server a service setup a database already in place and you just want a client uh, to connect to that server 
the third one which we will talking about in this video is about advanced installation option which means that you are going to install uh, business central on your local machine so let's choose that and once you choose that you get two options which is install demo or choose installation option install demo actually installs component as Microsoft decided into this config file so um, if you want to know what get installed when you do a install demo everything is written here what will be done which component will be installed which will not be so that gives you a framework uh, or idea about what get installed when you choose install demo for uh, this video I'll be using choose an installation option which gives me more flexibility to choose among the component that I want and I don't want so once you choose that you get again four options starting from top client which means you just need the client to be installed and uh, everything else is already set up or a server which will install your uh, service tier and the configuration panel which is Microsoft management control or developer which suits my need so we'll come to it and custom which means that you have a configuration file um, like Microsoft had and you just want to use that configuration file and then whatever is written in that configuration file will get installed into this machine so we'll choose developer but not exactly developer we'll click on customize so under these first three options you see a option of customize so I'll click customize under developer which shows me all the available component that I can choose it from from that list so starting from top AL development environment installs the AL language for Visual Studio Code if you have it the Visual Studio Code uh, server administration tool installs the Microsoft management console which makes it easy to manage services like stop and start like a panel like this where you can stop and start change parameters change settings of the service rather than changing it in the file uh, by going to the directory and server actually installs the server which means that configuration file and other assemblies that are required uh, SQL Server database component actually installs a database uh, demo database that comes with the product DVD in my case North American database and Outlook add-in makes it enable to use Outlook features in Business Central ADCS is more or less uh, for I for the warehouse piece which I'll not be using so I'll keep it disabled web server component I need because the only client that is available is a modern client which only comes when my web server component is in place and the 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 website is hosted into the web server component part of it help server mm, I don't need it because it actually goes into the web browser of MSDN so I can go there directly but if you want you can choose an end that's not a problem so once we decided what component we need let's click next and start choosing uh, deciding the parameters which is where you want your middle tier to be on this current machine what would be the server name VC150 you want to change it go ahead and change it what account you want to use to start and stop uh, to you know to manage services I'll keep it default right now if you have different a defined domain account use that and then key in the password coming down in list uh, as we discussed earlier this is where it becomes important that you decide what ports you want to use while installing business central so if these ports are being used you will end up with an error message later so make sure that you are using the ports that are not being used I'll keep it as standard uh, on this one because I just need business center 15 otherwise I'll change it if these ports are in use then I add these rules to firewall always uh, like in the earlier video I'll not enable SOAP and OData because I have a f uh, I can do it later and I'll add client rule to firewall client service rule to firewall coming down in list what type of credential you can choose in uh, where you want your SQL server database to be placed what is the server name is there an instance that you want to specify 
you can go ahead and specify if there is one what will be the demo database name if uh, you want to change it go ahead and change it and uh, the settings of base URL are important but I can set them up later so I'll keep them for later and then the website where you want to host your uh, modern client website uh, what port you want to use do you want to uh, create a shortcut uh, what you want to start and then I'm not using health server otherwise you need to give the server name where you want to host the server and what port you want to use so once you have set up all these settings based on your requirement hit apply and that more or less it it'll start installing whatever the prerequisites are required um, whatever the component that you ask for uh, as I discussed in the last video I would still recommend you to go back and check the system requirements for Business Central 15 before installing the product so that you are sure that all the prerequisite you have like what operating system it needs what SQL Server version it needs and once you have known that all the prerequisite which are required are with you and all the softwares that you need are already part of your servers or your computer then you can start this video and start following uh, the installation process so I'll give it some time I'll pause the video because otherwise it'll get a little bit longer and once it gets into the stage we'll see what happens at the end and uh, how we can access the client and all so there is an error so let's wait and see why there is an error message on the SQL Server database component okay so once the installation complete with an error message it says that it cannot create the database because of some error and you can open the installation log and see what those errors are so if I come down it says that some file name could not be configured which is SQL demo database so it again boils down to uh, the same concept of provisioning that it does not have permission the network service account uh, or we didn't run it as administrator so set those settings as discussed in the previous video I'll, I'll put the link into this also how you provision your account once that all in place uh, we'll start the repair so I'll, I'll set those settings as uh, in that Microsoft article and then we'll resume the video so once that is done let's close this uh, let's close this go back to our installer run the setup again and this time we'll ask you to choose what you want to do which is do you want to add or remove a component do you want to repair it do you want to uninstall it so we'll choose repair and we'll move it. so once you start the repair it will start adding those component back which had problems and also testing other prerequisites that are required so let's wait for a while and then once it is over we'll see what gets installed so the repair is completed that's good so that means our business central 15 is in place let's have a look what get installed it's development shell administration cell administration so let's have a look on the administration which looks pretty good I have the service map to the database and next let's have a quick look on the client and I guess that we'll see so we should be able to find the client link in my start menu so let's click on that that loads the business central 15 which is pretty quick as you can see there is no component of the development environment there's just administration cell administration and development cell and the from the client side is just have the web client or the modern client so that's all for today's video uh, if you have any other questions about installation or any other topic that you want me to talk about or record a video about please let me know in to comment to this video uh, if you have thoughts what I can improve on it please put that in to comment of this video also 
Thank you. Have a great day.